question trying to do, trying to make an enemy out of a country that can destroy the United States? I don't see how it could be because uh, the United States and NATO are no match whatsoever for Russia and China. I think maybe what Washington is trying to do is to convince those Russians in the government in Russia and among the financial economic elite that if they don't somehow get rid of Putin, they're going to have all their relationships cut off uh, with the West. The West is no longer uh, going to be the dominant force in the world. It's not going to have the ruling ideas. And I think Russia will end up leading with China. The trade uh, in Chinese Russian currencies among themselves and the expansion of this into other parts of Asia, this will reduce the uh, dollar area of influence. It will reduce Washington's power to bully those countries and it will cause a drop in the demand for dollars anywhere in the West. There's none. There's not a leader in sight. There's a complete lack of any leadership, so you can't expect to see any judgment. And what we're seeing is clearly uh, the absence of judgment. Well, anyone who would appoint John Bolton to be the National Security Advisor could not possibly intend to normalize relations with Russia because John Bolton is one of the most scary, worst war model. And then his other nomination, Pompeo, to be Secretary of State. This is a war monger. It is Trump assembling a war cabinet in very dangerous times, except I think now the Russians have come to the conclusion that the West is insane, it's falling apart, and they don't need to do anything. And I think that's why they are so uh, unprovocative in their own responses.